You've reached Hall in Mockery. Well, first things first, of course. Oh, that's right. We have our liquid deaths. Yes, welcome to Colin Mockery. We are You get to choose which flavor oh. you want. We have the unpair-leavable. Yes. And the <laughs> um this is the uh convicted uh, melon. Convicted melon that yeah. we have here. So, you can choose whichever okay. flavor you want. Now, typically we don't have these flavors. So, right. that's why this is kind of special. Um we usually don't have them in in I guess the studio, but at right. my house, I've got my favorite. But I think I'm going to go a different way this week. So okay. I'm going to pick this one. And you can have that one if you want to let everyone know which one. Okay. You so got. I've got Unparalievable. And I've got here this one I've never had before. This is Convicted Melon. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh. You can get it. And it's, it's an auditory experience. Is it? <laughs> Joey, mm. this is Colin Mockery, where you call in and we mock. Yes. Now, of course, we have a phone number. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> and it's on the screen, and you can call it. Don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first, I do have something. Okay. So, recently on the show, we had a guest. Uh, and, in fact, we were a guest in their home. Isn't mm. that interesting? Now... Uh, they being Jake from Mediaverse. We went there, did a podcast. Everyone loves it. Uh, and then we did a podcast, his podcast, the Mediaverse podcast. Yeah. Right. And everyone loves that too. Of course. Well, let's. I, we did his first. Sure. Let's just. I know that some people like, oh, we don't like to timestamp the stuff. Yeah, that's fine. We did his first, mm. and then we, then we flipped the tables on him in his own house. This was sort of, if you watch WWE, it's sort of one of those things. Yeah. That's oh, all I oh, have. Okay. You were the one that started this conversation. Okay, so we did that, and then so we put out our episode first. That's why, that's why I was just, yeah, because yeah. maybe it's confusing for all y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So we put out our episode first, and then uh, do not cut my microphone. Well, you're just so loud. Do not censor. You sound me. like one of those podcasts where it's just redlining the whole time, and it's like their whole thing is doing a podcast, but it just oh, it sounds like it sounds, Charlie Brown, like a yeah, parent I can't from even Charlie Brown. To it. Yeah. So we did this. Mm -hmm. I looked at our analytics for the episode. Oh, and. Great stuff all around, of course. Okay. Now, we did get a message from, I'm not going to use their full name. Right. Melissa mm -hmm. K. Okay. No, okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> About, MK, more like. And it was, a, it was on that episode. MK Ultra. That's what we'll call her. And I quote, mm -hmm. awful. Didn't last 10 minutes. Quit trying to be so cutesy, maybe. Okay. Awful. Didn't, Didn't last, last 10, ten minutes. minutes. Okay. Quit trying to be so cutesy, maybe. Huh. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah at that point, she, so she watched about 10 minutes of mm -hmm. it. Not quite 10 minutes. Couldn't no. make it 10 minutes. Yeah. But she said she tried to decide to f decipher what exactly wasn't working for her. And it was that we were being too cutesy. Maybe. Maybe. Try not to be so cutesy. Maybe. So from here on out, it, I just wanted to bring everyone. Because we are nothing if not transparent. Yeah. As you know, I am not fake. And I think. And that, as you know, I'm Jeffrey Tambor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, that probably goes against what she was saying. That's a little cutesy. That was a little cutesy. I That's apologize. That's a little cutesy. So. From here on out, I think we probably were. We were trying to be too cutesy. Yeah. Well, this is this goes to what I was saying is we did his episode first. We were mm -hmm. excited. So then we get into ours, and we're probably already at 10, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. 
So we're just coming in hot right out of the gate, mm -hmm. and she's just instantly, what is this? Maybe too, too cutesy? cutesy. It's too cutesy. They're maybe, maybe. Because if you try not to be cutesy, and then that didn't work. I'm. I don't want to be. She doesn't want to be wrong. No. And of it course, I looked at then some of the next episodes mm -hmm. to see if maybe she stuck around to see if well they figured it out. Less yeah. cutesy. Good. Good for them. Never, never commented anyway. You ever notice how it's typically. It's someone commenting something bad. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Can't we just reach out to people and say, hey, you're doing good? You know, why don't everyone know and never do that no more? I only ever get a message from my doctor. Hey, your A1C is low. Mm -hmm. They never say, hey, your A1C is perfect. Uh -huh. You know, why is that? What is going on? My dentist never reaches out and says, hey, you're on every single gum that I stick my thing in. Mm -hmm. Three, two, three, two. Gums are receding. They never say, hey, your teeth look very clean, though. Or your gums are, um, what's the opposite of receding? Exceeding. Your gums are exceeding our expectations. They're, Keep it up. Just wanted to let you know. Click. Pink is a little mm -hmm. pink lemonade. <laughs> That's what they want. They want pink gums. Pink lemonade, pink, blue raspberry, all these scientific mumbo jumbo that we make up. I'm sick of it. I want I want my doctors to tell me I'm doing fine, and I wish we would just eat regular fruits. <laughs> yeah. So, Melissa, Melissa, if you're out there, uh, what we should do, which we're not going to do, is we should probably do an episode where we do commentary on the first 10 minutes yeah. of that episode. Yeah, maybe that's something we'll come. And we decide if it's too cutesy. I'm probably never going to listen to it just because now I have someone in in my head, I'm. I know for a fact someone thought it was awful. Yeah, they've said as much. If I don't know that, I can watch it and go, "Hey, I'm sure someone likes this. Mm -hmm. I'm. We're, we're having fun." What but, I I just feel bad because she thought that about Jake. You know. Yeah. It's just she obviously has never listened before. She mm -hmm. saw the one with Jake in the media verse. <laughs> And she said, oh, that's interesting. I'll click on that. Uh -huh. And obviously Jake was being too cutesy for the first 10 minutes. Yeah. Well, that's what I, I, And I didn't want him to hear this, but I'm sure he's a listener. So he'll hear this. And I, I do apologize to him. This but, all goes back to us doing his show first. Yeah. Because he was being very professional on his show, but we kind of showed him <laughs> that we like to loosen things up. Yeah. So by the time we did our show, Jake was just on. He was cutesy. He, yeah. He was on cloud. Cute. He's on cloud cute. <laughs> and he couldn't, we couldn't rein him in. Mm. It couldn't. was too late. It was too late in late in the evening. Really? Mm. He was being so cutesy. Maybe that See, might not. The, yeah. I didn't think so. I thought he was perfectly cute in all the right ways. Yeah. He was being not cute, too much. So, so. Maybe that she's more of a gumshoe. He's being too cute, she. she maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and I if think she she's just like, a dick. Yeah. <laughs> like a private eye. They call him a dick. But here's my question. Why listen to our show? Mm. Why listen <laughs> That's to, a great question. to us and then comment awful? Didn't yeah. make it 10 minutes. I'm sure you were confused if that's your starting point. Well, that's also funny, too, because, yeah, it's like you see that there are like hundreds of episodes mm -hmm. total that and we've you done. you pick the one where we're sitting in a different location. <laughs> well, not even. So this was on this was on the audio forum. Oh, my goodness. So they must have. So that's good, too. And sorry to Jake. Wait, so this was, so this is a review they left us. This was a comment on the episode that you can do on Spotify. You can comment on Spotify. I didn't even know this. this per is episode. We, this is why we have producers. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why our producer, mm -hmm. Melanie, told Thank us. Thank you, Melanie. Yeah, she told me about this, so mm -hmm. we wanted to bring it up on the show. So, we, just full transparency, we know Jake was being too cutesy. Mm -hmm. and we're, uh, we apologize for that, and we apologize that probably Melissa was interested in Mediaverse and because of us and our show is probably not anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but so sorry. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, thank goodness we've got producers oh, really that fine. bring that stuff to our attention. <laughs> um, 
But also when we have younger producers that just get this stuff, like they know Spotify has comments. Like Melanie, just to age her, to give you an idea, yeah. she was named after the scene in Austin Powers 2 <laughs> where he's handing her the the fruit. <laughs> So like if you if that's when you, you know someone's being born <laughs> in the late nineties, they're in their twenties, right? Yeah. So we've just got a younger crew around here, not like us old dogs. No. You and me, Tim Allen and Kevin James here. Yeah. <laughs> the two <laughs> old dogs. Two old dogs. That old, <laughs> that old classic. That old movie, picture. Old Dog, starring Tim Allen and Kevin James. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I still remember when VHS tapes were orange. Yes. Oh my goodness. And even sure. just seeing one brings me back. Um, but I did go to the eye doctor recently. Me too. Really? Yeah. Okay, so I went to the eye doctor. They, if you wear contacts, they mm-hmm. want you to wear the contacts in. Interesting. Do they at yours? Um, well, you don't really wear contacts anymore. Right. I but I my I was getting I had questions about contacts. Interesting. But I just wore my glasses like a regular man. Dork. So I, they want you to wear them in. So I wear them in, and they look at your eyeball quick, and they're like, "Yep, they fit." I'm like, well, yeah, don't you think I would have said something? It's yep. been <laughs> five years at this point or something. Like, I think I probably would have, like, the, yeah, these are a little loose. What do you Can do? we actually be the, be the, de- be the, sorry, not the dentist. No, don't. <laughs> be the ophthalmologist on the phone. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be you. Okay. Bring, bring. Bring, bring. Uh, I have a house. Hey. How, how are you? Hey, good. Um, there's one thing. I feel like my contacts don't fit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they don't fit, and they're uncomfortable, and they hurt. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, we have you down for an appointment next year, so okay, we'll take a look. Just make sure to wear them in. Okay, well, they don't fit. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, bye. Bye. That's how it would probably go. That's how it should go if America was on the right path. <laughs> yeah. But I went in. I, 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 they, we, look at, they look at your app. We pay our doctors to make us better. Some people pay their doctors when they're, they feel good some con- in some countries you pay your doctor for the months you you feel good oh this and is so good. they actually want you to be good in america we pay our doctors when we're sick, sick so they want to keep us sick, sick so that they keep getting checks yeah that's why they pump us full of yeah antibiotics biotics yeah. are actually good for you yeah. and yet they want to get them all out of our body isn't that interesting <laughs> it's true so she checks them. She says, yeah, they fit. Now pop those suckers out. Mm-hmm. So then you have to, she gives you a little temporary, mm-hmm. the little two buckets. And you're nervous. And you're like, I swear I do this all the time. <laughs> and she's like, do you need a mirror? And I'm like, no, I don't need a mirror. I don't want like, my eyeballs off. Um, uh. And then you pull them out. Now this, I spilled. I spilled the eye because you then you squirt in yeah. the in the cup. Mm-hmm. You squirt the eye juice, and this is still the eye doctor, correct? Mm-hmm. Where you squirt in the cup? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just to check to make sure things yeah. are still flowing. Sorry, Melissa. I'm trying not to. <laughs> I, we try not to be cutesy, but we have to. It's in our veins to be cutesy. So, <laughs> but then, how I do it at my house? Mm-hmm. I'm standing over a sink, so I just yeah. go. <laughs> And, you know, stuff goes everywhere, and I'm <laughs> throwing them in, taking them out. But here, I'm sitting at the little table. Well, she's got the big contraption that <laughs> looks at your eye to make sure it fits. I'm like, do we need all of this for you to just see that they fit? Mm-hmm. She <laughs> swivels it around. There's a little tiny table on the side of it. So I was like, dang, that's cool. And then I spill all over myself, but I have to act like, I didn't. <laughs> she's like, because she's on her computer, uh-huh. kind of keeping an eye on me, but I'm like um, <laughs> spilling all over. So anyway, I get my things out. And then she does the test where, you know, they're sitting like yeah. probably three inches from you, except that there's a big contraption between you. Mm-hmm. But your mouths are touching. <laughs> <laughs> So she's staring. It's just crazy. Yeah. (laughs) Because she's staring at your eyeball. You have maybe, like, I can feel her breath on me. And she's like, (sighs) 
<laughs> this one looks good. Yeah, looks pretty good. Look up. <laughs> Look down. So, I'm, you know, it's just a weird thing that we do. Yeah. But then she says, this is interesting. She says, do you ever have red eyes? Mm. And I thought, well, I have one red eye. And that's what my uncle used to call a butthole. <laughs> but I didn't say that because that would be too cutesy. Mm -hmm. What I said was, well, I guess they get red when they're dry. And she was like, yeah, yeah. Do, you ever, do they ever get dry? And I say, yeah, I suppose when I have them open a lot. <laughs> and she says, yeah, so... Um, you know, we want to make sure, well, she says, are you on your computer a lot? And I say, I work on a computer, and then I spend <laughs> the rest of my life staring at a tiny screen, which is my phone, <laughs> and occasionally I will look up at a big screen, my TV, and I'll go back and forth between those. <laughs> and she says, yes, yes. But she says, when you're looking at your computer, every 30 minutes you should take uh, take. 30 seconds mm -hmm. to look off at least 20 feet into the distance. I've heard this. And she said, because she says, you do not blink when you're looking at a computer screen. And I said, that's <laughs> the thing. That's the I said, I know for a fact I am blinking. <laughs> I spend nine hours a day at work looking at my I know I blink. That is a lie. Your eyes would be shriveled like when SpongeBob looks <laughs> at the sun or something. Or when Donald Trump looks at the sun <laughs> and he weren't supposed to. But I said, okay. I just took her word for mm -hmm. it. But I, in my head, I said, that's not true. Yeah, that's not. That's a lie. lie. But then, I, so I was like, I'd never had this one before. I, I went to the same place I always do. But this was a new doctor. Mm -hmm. To me. New to me. Right. We, yes. So when I go home, I look up. This doctor? I looked up the doctor just because I was like, what was her name? I, I liked her a lot, okay? Don't get me wrong. But then I see in her about me, sh her whole thing is, you know, I went to college here, worked here, worked here, worked here. Her feel, like her expertise field of study is dryness in the eye. <laughs> and, and she's like spent years researching why your eyeballs get dry or something like mm -hmm. that. There's a full thing about, like, she's very uh, inter interested in red, dry eyes. <laughs> so it's just, I felt like I got, like, it was a pyramid scheme of some kind. But to no end, like, she didn't sell me on anything. She was just like, yeah, red eyes, ever heard of them? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm obsessed with them. I think she just wanted to hear you say, yeah, because she's like, you ever get red eyes and you're like oh yeah all the time she's like oh yeah <laughs> she's obsessed with your eyes get red all the time i bet i bet you're a red-eyed boy yeah yeah that's it was just freaky <laughs> but again to no end mm -hmm. she didn't sell me red eye no she just told you to juice. look at a wall she every said, couple yeah, of minutes look into look 20 feet in the distance so then i was thinking how am i gonna do that i'm in a, <laughs> I'm, in a I'm in a house so anyway, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, I, th I found that interesting, but I, I I know I blink during the day. That's a crazy thing to say. I probably blink too much when I'm looking at the computer. That's what I thought. Like, I thought it was the opposite. I'm mm -hmm. always like, because they do, they get dry and then like... I and need, then you have to blink. Yeah, so I can focus. That's why your eyes <laughs> blink. <laughs> I don't know. I think the whole thing's made up. I'm starting to believe... Like we know, I don't. I'm starting to disbelieve my dentist every more and more every time I go in, and now the eye doctor is starting to be like, "Well, you're just making stuff." Like I know my why my eyes are red. You're not telling me anything new. Yeah, we're seeing the the the, the studies of of different types of health crumble. I think <laughs> in this this generation. I don't want to be that type of guy because I do generally believe science. But I am starting to wonder what the hell they're doing to us. They're trying to make our eyes red. Well, if I may, I went to the to the do eye doctor, and I did want to say that they there is something about the way they emasculate you when you first come in because 
you put your head against the thing and they go look in there there's just gonna be a little puff yeah. and you try not to for the young the young woman that is helping you mm-hmm. that has guided you into the room the dark room and she's like now sit right here next to me sit on my lap <laughs> and you sit on her lap and you look into the thing and then <laughs> and you try you try not to but you know she sees your forehead yeah and she's like because she goes okay good <laughs> and then the other one <laughs> so i already feel just weakened right yeah but and I, you can kind of hear her under her breath go, bitch. <laughs> Each time. And I kind of thought I caught it the first time. Yeah. And I catch her the second time. And I look up. And she goes, you looked up too soon. You have to do it again. I'm like, I know I didn't. So that eye's extra dry because they're puffing you with stuff. Yeah. What the, what's up with that? HR puffing stuff. <laughs> but I went there. And I said, because I've had contacts for about 10 years. Mm. And now something switched in my body. It actually happened when we were working on a project together. Thank you. Where we were staying up from about 9 p.m. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. 9 in the morning. Uh-huh. Just and then working even longer. All day. Working all day. So we'd film something for about 12 hours, mm. work an eight-hour shift, go to bed for two hours. And I'd be putting my contacts in mm. every day. Hurt. And they told me I could wear them for a month. That's what they said. One pair will last you 30 days. Great. Nice. So then I, I go to the to the doctor because every time I go to put them in when we're filming, I've never, it feels like I'm getting LASIK where my eyes are just burning uncontrollably. And they said, well, you've got an infection under your eyes. You have an allergic reaction where you've got little bumps. So every single time you blink, there are little bumps that are scratching your eyes. And I said, well, can you make it stop? (laughs) Because I'm in there with my eyes closed. So they said, try this different this different solution, solution. but these are the same contacts. Now we're, at, well, I've been using these contacts for a decade and I, and I heard on a podcast, <gasps> I have I've already had the, but, but someone said on their podcast, you're basically using the iPhone four of contacts maybe because you? They, this, this person on this podcast, their doctor told them you've been using the same brand for so long uh, that there are all there are new things for you to try. Mm. And I had already had my my appointment set, mm-hmm. but I heard that and I was like, okay, so I'm not crazy that there could be something else because I've tried to order them online, one eight hundred contacts, and they said, no, no, you can't just order a different brand. You Your prescription is for this brand. That's why I said this is a racket. Yeah, why can't I just order whatever a I want? Brand? In the same, it's my prescription. I'm the customer. Just give me, it's my prescription. I've got the, I've it's, got the, the paper. And it's my money. Exactly. <laughs> I want to try this one. I want to try this one that says it's, it's gooey in my eye. Yeah. <laughs> so Yo. I go there. And, and also they told me about what Gooey eye. They told me about 10 years ago. Well, switch to, I only wear them every two weeks. I do this. I, they're still annoying to me. Uh-huh. I use the the squirt stuff. That's no preservatives. It's twenty dollars per bottle. I do everything they ask me. So I go in there and I say, I'd like to just can I try a different kind of contact? I've been using these for over a decade. And she goes, um, Did you have? It's probably because if you get dry eyes, um, they're probably just gonna annoy you. Like some people just have problems with contacts. Mm. I was like, so there's this, uh, is there any other brand I can try? What well, about the, did you ask about the gooey ones? That's what I was like. Aren't there like, I, these are AccuV, Hydra, whatever the sure. F. Isn't there something more hydrating or something? And she goes, well, if your eyes are dry, they're just, I was like, you're the eye doctor. Shouldn't my eyes not be dry? So you could fix my dry eyes or you could fix my dry contacts. She's like, yeah, you might need to just switch the, to the one a days. I was like, well, that's fine, but I just know they're more expensive. Mm. I'm not using them. I don't need to spend that much on contacts. And she goes, well, if you're not wearing them that much, then just you can get the one a days. I was like, but they're more expensive. Isn't there just because it's the same brand, just one a days. Right. And she goes, yeah, maybe just try these out. I was like, there's nothing, there's nothing you can do for me. She's like, some people just contacts annoy them. It's like, I, you, yeah. no one has ever told me that before here <laughs> that I just won't, my eyes don't like contacts. It's Cause you finally called them on their bow. Yeah. But then she just gives me the same brand. So I'm like, I think yeah. they have a deal with AccuV. Oh yeah. I don't think, I think that's just cause then she's like, well, I can get you some 
they have all the samples of them there. Yeah. She's like, I'll get you some samples. Like, they do. Yeah. Because, well, and then because I ordered, I think mine are that too. And uh, they have the little coupon for those. So they're mm-hmm. like, and actually, if you send this in, you get $15 off. And I say, oh, thanks. And then I immediately <laughs> throw it away because I'm not going to do that. Just make it $15 cheaper. Something's going on there. I don't know. Don't you think? I do. But, of course, I'd need to see. But then I'm pretty sure my dad, when I was a kid, mm. went in and got glasses, and he never wore them. And yeah. now he goes to the doctor, and they say, you have 20-20 vision every time. So, mm. yeah. Like, he just never wore them because they were annoying to him, and now... Because he didn't need them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, there's there's some of that going on. But did you watch anything? <clears throat> well. Unless you have more to say about modern medicine. No, but this will. Uh, well, what did I what did I watch? Gosh, what did I watch? I don't know. You got anything? Yeah. <clears throat> Go for it. OK. I watched. Well, first off, I went to the theater. Oh, yeah, I saved movies again. God. I went it was me and about six other octogenarians. Yep. And we all sat down for what I will say is a movie I will watch every holiday season from now on. Saltburn. Yep. No. Oh, you're talking about the marvelous Mr. Magoo. <laughs> yes. The mustachioed felon himself. The mist- Mr. Giamatti. Yes. The holdovers good i do want to see that i was uh when i first saw the trailer for it i hadn't heard of it and i was confused but i was interested because i was like this feels like a movie they don't make anymore yeah i have a lot of thoughts about it um i'll save it i guess for some other time if you are going to see it but i do think because it's kind of going it's make it's making quite a bit of money at the box office Mm. i think surprising surprising amount i think it's doing pretty well because i think word of mouth people are generally liking it mm-hmm. and then you know people read about it they say i want to go see that and i think people are just connecting to it is a very sincere heartfelt movie and i think like it looks like an old movie it right. sounds like an old movie like somehow the audio is bad <laughs> But the soundtrack is great. Just the music, the imagery. Yeah, we know what soundtrack means. Everything, everything is great. Well, the soundtrack and the music. Oh, I'm sorry. The soundtrack and the score. Yes. It's just, it's a great movie. It's maybe, I'd say, 10 minutes too long. Oh. But other than that, solid. I liked it a lot. Paul Giamatti's great. Somehow he has, does he have a lazy eye in real life? Maybe I think as people get older, if they have one, it gets more pronounced. But I don't think he does. Oh well, if it's like if it's definite, like that's a like it's he, like part of the movie. Okay, the, the, then it's his, then it has to be fake, right? It has. I, I it's think probably it a contact. Oh my god! Because he doesn't have one in real life. That's like that's noticeable. Noticeable. Yeah. In the movie, it's sometimes it's not, but sometimes it is like a lot because it kind of depends on what the scene is. <laughs> Where they're like, oh, we need to be lazy in this <laughs> scene. So all of a sudden his eyes are looking different ways. Or he can do the it he can do the pennywise. Maybe thing. he can do the pennywise. I do the pennywise. <laughs> that we should do that. <laughs> we should, we should I do the pennywise. And then it's just a close up of <laughs> people's faces. That's like an SNL yeah. when they I do, do a the musical. pennywise. <laughs> I do the penny was. Well, the clown comes out of my mouth, and he got big teeth, and he gonna shout. But what's going on with his eyes? Well, I guess they just call it penny wise. I do the penny wise. I do the penny wise. And then, I don't know. There's probably like. You could do a bunch. Who would come out? There's gotta be the, the musical guest that we could come out, right? Bad Bunny would come out. Yes. He does the Pennywise. Yeah. Everyone loses their collective shit. Yeah. They say, I have his shoes. Mm-hmm. And have then, you, uh, like... I and, have his <laughs> shoes. Yeah, they do say that. Tina Fey comes yeah. out. Oh, my goodness. She's like, I'm taking over 
<laughs> season 51. I do the penny was. <laughs> Keenan just walks out and says, what is going on? And then we all go. Ah. And, and then he say, goes, what's going on with Kel's makeup? I do the penny was. <laughs> In Good Burger 2. So the holdovers, I'd say watch it. That's great. Well, what I watched was someone that was not watching me. And maybe they're someone that could use contacts. Because what I've got for you right now is a coffee shop story. Got some got something to drink earlier this day. Get a hot tea. Not coffee, hot tea. If you go to the to the 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 Barnes and Noble right now, they've got these teas, right? These holiday yeah. teas. Not they don't nope. care to Starbucks. So you get to try a little fun holiday tea. The Harney and Sons, right? Yep, that's the ones. Sons. And I order my tea and I talk to the to the this person and she goes, What do you want? Blah blah blah. And we're talking. All right, where are we going? A little conversation. Going? And then I and I'll try to make this translate for the audio listeners, but I she goes, all right, I have that tea for you. She goes, all right, I have that tea for you. And then she puts the tea out, and she goes, have a good day now. <laughs> she turns 45 degrees. There's no one else in here, by the way. Okay. Because I turned and looked because I thought she was <laughs> talking to someone leaving. Yeah. But she's looking at me the whole time, sets it down, says, there you go. And turns and just <laughs> completely <laughs> faces away from me, but just looks right past me and goes, have a good day now, but reacts as if she's looking at me. And I just stared at her and I turned and looked. And then she walked away. I don't know. I think she was doing the Pennywise. <laughs> she may have been. <laughs> I think she was. I, I think she knew. Sometimes we get people notice us out in public yeah. or they notice our, I don't know, our merch or. Yeah. They just notice stuff. Yeah. As we as we rack people, you know, they say Melissa told me about you. Yeah, they asked me to do this. They kick me in the gonads, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So gonads and strife. Gonads and strife. She probably knew that we were going to be doing this tonight. Mm. That's interesting. But it was very very strange. It reminds me of something I used to do to my roommate in college, <laughs> where I would. Talk to him, yeah. but I would look just slightly, <laughs> look right <back. laughs> slightly like at, at his eyes, but slightly past them. You kind of just look through someone. Yeah, it was like that, but and he would get annoyed, and it would be funny <laughs> to me. It was just so weird because she did it, and then she kind of like, like it was almost like she went into a state of temporary blindness. Something happened. <laughs> it was so. I think you should have called the ambulance. Well, last time I went to this place, I'm not going to say the location, mm. but I was sitting there. I was reading a book, and I've got my. I've, I'm trying to focus on my book, as we know from previous stories. But I can hear them talking because she calls someone over. She calls over a manager and says, "It's time for my 15 minute break," and he goes, "Here's the thing. Oh. I do not have anyone here oh. that can take over the cafe while you're on a break." And she goes, oh, that's okay. That's totally fine. You know how you act when you're just like, you're like Joe Pesci in Home Alone. And he's like, so if you just want to sit down between making drinks, that's fine. And she's like, for 15 minutes. But just for 15 minutes. So I know something's going on there. Yeah. You know, there's just, there's, there are things happening at this place. And so that's, it's going to be ripe with coffee shop stories for a while, I think. <laughs> if it starts to deplete itself, I promise our viewers and our listeners that I will go to a different place. Yeah, we're going to get coffee. Need... Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's good. Um, so that's what I watched <laughs> a little different, a little unorthodox. <laughs> I'm trying not to be cute. A little unorthodox. Sure. <laughs> well, I hope everyone has a good Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> hey, we're just getting started with the Christmas holiday. Jingle bell, a snow coming down. Jingle, Jingle bell. bell. I'm watching it fall. Hey, oh, I also, yeah, we'll talk about it later. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
listening to the Prescribed Films Podcast Network, home to hundreds of hours of free podcast entertainment. The shows on this network all have a common goal, providing you with the best discussions about movies and other forms of entertainment media. The PFPN hopes to fill your ear holes with audio joy. Visit our website with links to all the other amazing shows at www.thepfpn.com. Thanks for listening.